Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lex. Today I wanted to do a houseplant tour of all my plants that I have in my apartment. Excluding all of the plants that I have specifically for my online plant shop, I probably have about 100 to 150 houseplants in my own personal collection. All of my personal houseplants, I actually keep them in my IKEA greenhouse cabinets. The reason why I keep all my plants inside of the IKEA greenhouse cabinet is because my apartment just does not get a lot of light. The only window in our living room that we have is actually our big patio door. It does get the least amount of light because it is a north facing window so we get actually no light in this apartment at all. All my plants basically survive off of grow lights so it's all artificial lighting that they all grow off of. The greenhouse cabinets basically allow me to have multiple plants in one place. I can also have a lot of plants that require a lot of humidity since all the cabinets are weatherproof so they do hold about 85 to 90% humidity at all times. I personally feel that the IKEA greenhouse cabinets or any type of glass cabinet is really worth it if you do not have light in your house and you are looking to get high humidity plants. The cabinets are also great if you have pets that like to dig in your plants or eat them or if you have any toxic plants you can just close the cabinets and lock them away. I got my first IKEA Rudsta cabinet last December and I really really liked it at first because that was my first one. I really didn't know what the difference was between all of them. My favorite right now would definitely be the IKEA Millsbo and the IKEA Detox cabinet. I feel that both of these cabinets are very customizable compared to the Rudsta and I have talked about this previously before why I don't like the Rudsta. If the Rudsta works for you that's great it just doesn't work for me and the type of plants that I have. I just have really big plants and I just don't have enough space with the Rudsta. We all know that all the cabinets have been basically out of stock everywhere so it has been really hard to get one lately but if you ever do see it in stock I do recommend that you at least try to get one and try it out for yourself. They work great in my opinion. I really love them and if I didn't have them I probably wouldn't be able to have so many plants that I do. I don't really have any plants that are outside of the cabinets unfortunately just because of the light situation like I said it is very dark in my apartment. All the lights in my apartment are basically grow lights. Um, we don't have any regular light bulbs. All the light in this living room comes from all the cabinets. As you see behind me, I do have a few plants that I keep outside like my big Monstera, two snake plants, and my ZZ plant. I do have a very bright grow light on the ceiling that hangs down for those specifically. Other than that, I do not have any plants outside of the cabinet. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and I'm going to take you on a tour through each cabinet, explain to you how I weatherproof them, the items that I used in them, and what worked and what didn't work. So the four plants that I do keep outside of the cabinet are actually my giant Monstera Deliciosa, which you guys have seen before. This plant is huge. I actually got it from Home Depot a long time ago. I'll insert a picture of when it was like in the car and when we brought it home. It was massive and it still is massive and she's growing a lot. This plant has double fenestrated leaves. It's very big. So for now, this plant sits underneath of my Soltec Solutions grow light. This is the aspect light and it actually has been helping it tremendously. No other grow light has really given this plant enough light. As you know that Monstera Deliciosas require a lot of light. It's definitely worth the investment if you're thinking about getting a nice grow light for your big plants in your living room or anything like that. This is my Millsbo Tall cabinet. This is probably one of my favorite cabinets. I feel that you can do a lot with this cabinet and I really do like it. I feel like this one is also the easiest to weather strip and how we decided to weather strip this cabinet. We just used black electrical tape to seal around the edges at the top and the sides and it really just holds really well. It doesn't fall off or anything like that. I realized that the regular weather stripping that you get like at Home Depot or Lowe's does fall off and we just find that the black electrical tape is better and it definitely blends into the cabinet if you have the black one. If you have the white one, I'm not sure um, if they have like white tape or whatever, but the black electrical tape does work a lot in our situation. On one of the doors, James created a flap with the electrical tape right here, if you can see it. He taped it and made a flap so that when this door closes and this door closes, no air will escape through the middle because there is a small gap here but making that flap definitely does help. In every cabinet that I have I do use the Barina T5 grow lights, the 10 watt ones. 
I got them from Amazon and I'll put a link in the description for you guys. As you can see from the top, I've definitely had some trial and error with different lights as there is so much residue and sticky stuff at the top, but it does come off if you really try to. I just am super lazy, so I am now using the Brina T5 Grow Lights and I really do like these better than any grow light that I've had. You just have to make sure that you buy the extension cord for them, which I'll also link in the description as well. The extension cord connects them all together and we just ran it along the side here. You have to get one that's long enough. For the fans for all my cabinets, I do use the AC Infinity computer fans. I think that they're okay. If I could find something else that was a little stronger than these and bigger, I definitely would. But for now, these are working great for me. So I do have one hanging from the top here. If you can see right here, I've used these little sticky hooks that stick onto the metal and it has like a hook. I got them on Amazon and it works great. You just tie a zip tie around it. So we put one at the top there and then I put one in the middle down here. This cabinet does get really, really hot and does have high humidity, sometimes to the point where this thing doesn't even work because it's over 100. It just is blank sometimes. So every day I have to keep this cabinet open for a little bit so that it can cool down. So as for the design of this cabinet, I do have the Modern Aqua pegboards in the back. I have one pegboard here, which is really easy to install. You just screw it into the mills bill here. It's very simple. Their pegboards actually do have a lot of accessories as well on their website. I do have a hanging shelf here that connects to the pegboard back here. And I have another one that is down here on this pegboard. So in total, I have two pegboards. And then at the bottom, I have their diagonal shelf here. And then I have another diagonal shelf back here. So it gives it a really full look at the bottom. I didn't go full pegboards to the whole cabinet because I thought it was a little unnecessary for what I needed. And then in the middle here, I just have the regular Ikea glass that came with it. And then the other two pieces of glass, I just store under the cabinet. So moving on to my Rudsta cabinet, this is the Rudsta, the wide cabinet. I actually just restyled this in my last plant chores video, so you should definitely go check that out. Don't laugh, but on top of this cabinet is where I keep all of my extra glassware and all my plastic cups and stuff I use for the plants. Um, you know, we're all such hoarders. We save every cup that we get, every piece of glass. So I just store them up here for now. In here, I did the same type of weather stripping that we did in the Mills Bow with the black tape around all the corners. This one does hold a lot of humidity as well. So I do open this one up several times a day, just like the Mills Bow. This one is nothing special. It does have the Ikea stock glass here because in the Rutsta wide, you can only put a piece of glass here and then you can put another one right here. But in this situation, I took out the other one. So I just have some small plants up top here. I have the same lights and the same fan back here as well. Those are in all of my cabinets, the hygrometer as well. I have a fan hanging from the top corner over here. And then this section, I just keep all of the moss pole type of plants and all of the big plants as you can see here. The Rudsta does have a magnetic backing, so a lot of people do attach the metal shelves that you can find on Amazon. So this is my Rudsta.
So this is the Detoff cabinet. This is probably the cabinet that you're most curious about. These are two Detoffs that are pushed together. We connected them using flat brackets. As you can see here, we just use one at the top and then on the bottom we use like four or five just to make sure it was secure. We have flat brackets underneath of here, just like the ones I just showed you at the bottom as well. One thing I did not like about this cabinet was that how low it sat to the floor. So I bought these metal legs on Amazon. They're like metal table legs. I bought them on Amazon and we attach four of them to the bottom. And it really looks much better and it kind of reminds you of the Mills Bell so it matches all of the other like metal cabinets that I have. So it looks really good. So since the bottom of this cabinet is actually not metal, it is wood, we used a translucent wood sealer sprayer to waterproof the wood on the top and the bottom and it took a few days to dry but it's kind of it feels very waxy i've had water get on there and it hasn't messed it up or anything but you can see like it has some weird residue i'm not sure i tried cleaning it put down these shelf liners that i got from target actually to help with any of the water so these are really nice to have in the cabinets in case you're worried about that. So far we haven't had any issues with that. And I also have a shelf liner here at the top. I have the same lights at the top here, two here, and then I have two zip tied to the bars here as well for this cabinet since it is a little bit different than the other ones. I had to kind of figure out a way on how to get the lights to stay. So I zip tied them and they're super secure. I have the same fan at the top here and the same fan down at the bottom here. Now, one thing I do wanna address is that pushing two of these cabinets together, you will have a gap in the middle, which will be this big. So you'll have a gap in the back that is that big as well. You can see back there. You can see what we did here. We got extra of this shelf liner and we cut it to size in the back. We literally just taped it along the whole back. <laughs> so it goes all the way down and it's completely sealed in the back. We just use clear tape, not a big deal. We could have did it a little nicer, but we don't really care. But yes, that helped so much and it's clear, so it actually doesn't look too bad. So we did the exact same thing in the front, but we just taped it to one side of the glass here to make a flap. And we did that from the top all the way down to the bottom so that we could weather seal the middle and we just connected it together. So then when you go to close it, it's pretty much sealed in the middle. We probably could use a bigger strip, but like I said, we don't really care. And also these cabinets get so hot and humid that honestly, we don't really need to seal it up completely. We would prefer that there'd be some air in this one. We didn't end up sealing any of the corners. We didn't feel like we had the need to. This one still holds pretty much uh, the same humidity as the other ones, about 80 to 85. So we are totally okay with that. But this is so easy to do, you guys. I definitely recommend it. Two Detoffs are cheaper than one Mills Bell and it's bigger than one Mills Bell. So I highly recommend it. If you just wanna spend a little bit of extra time just putting them together, it's so worth it. I had got this idea initially from Facebook, the Ikea Greenhouse Facebook group, and I just searched double detail. Several pictures and videos came up from people who've done this before, and it totally works. It's so easy to do. And the really cool thing about having two detail cabinets is that technically you can make this three wide instead of two because you have extra pieces of glass to create it three wide. The only thing is that you would have to get a piece of custom wood for the top and the bottom to fit, but you literally can make this three wide with just two cabinets. I've seen people do it, it looks freaking awesome. One day we probably will do that. And also if that's too much work, you can simply just buy another cabinet and another cabinet and another cabinet and you can literally just keep extending it as long as you want. So that's kind of awesome about it. Definitely give it a shot. Don't diss the Detoff because it's actually pretty nice and it's probably one of our favorite cabinets now. So we really do love it.
So those three cabinets are my IKEA cabinets. Like I said before, I do not keep any other plants outside of these cabinets besides the ones in the big greenhouse that I keep for the shop. So I don't really consider those a part of my collection. I've showcased that big greenhouse in my previous video, so make sure you go check it out if you're curious about it. I talk about the greenhouse a lot on my Instagram as well, and you can look up the story highlight on my Instagram called Big Greenhouse to find out some more information about it on how we built it, how we designed it, how we put the flooring in there, everything like that as well. Maybe one day I will do a video explaining how we changed up that greenhouse as well if you're interested. At one point I did have two Rudsta cabinets, but I did sell one, and I'm glad that I did because like I said, it's just not for me I replaced it with a double t-top and I really really like it since we are in a one bedroom apartment our apartment is pretty big for the most part but you know plants take up a lot of space and if you have other hobbies and things like that you just don't really have that much space so the cabinets do help me contain all of the plants in one area I'm actually not too much of a fan of having plants everywhere even if I did have the windows for them I'm just not a fan of just having plants all over the place I like to make my life easy. I like to have them all in one place so that I can water them all by cabinet and that makes things so much easier for me than instead of me running around the house trying to water them. I definitely do enjoy looking at pictures of people's homes that are like jungles and everything like that but that's not my style at all. I just like my stuff very organized and in one place and like I said it's just so much easier on me that I just have them all in one spot. The cats don't bother them. I don't ever have to worry about them. I never have to worry about me forgetting to water a plant because it's all in the same place. So when we water the plants, we just do it by cabinet and it takes us 10 minutes and that's it. I'm hoping that in the future one day when we do have a house that I can actually have a big plant room. And in that plant room, I think that I just will have that big greenhouse for the shop and then just a bunch of detoffs everywhere because I just really love them so much. It looks so awesome and it would be so cool just to have a whole wall of like detoffs like the glass is beautiful like it's such a nice big cabinet it's awesome so I definitely would really like to have that in the future As for maintenance of the cabinets I find it really easy to clean them if you know from Instagram I always talk about me cleaning these cabinets I literally clean them every single week I do not care I am crazy call me what you want y'all be laughing at me but I really do clean these cabinets every single week I do not know what it is about it but I just have to do that like Y'all really be laughing at me saying that I overly clean them and y'all clean them once a month or never, <laughs> but it couldn't be me. <laughs> so I know a lot of people have different opinions on having a greenhouse or an Ikea greenhouse or a cabinet or whatever. What are your opinions on it? For me personally, it works out great for me. I really like it. I like being able to have my plants in a high, high, high humidity area. It just helps their growth better. I know it's not necessary for everybody. Some people enjoy having their plants on a plant shelf, everything like that. At some point in my plant journey, I did have a plant shelf, which I did end up selling. I didn't really like having the plant shelf. It was really cute and aesthetically pleasing, but I just couldn't keep the humidity in that area up enough. So having the cabinet just helps with the humidity really for me and the heat. But yeah, let me know what your opinions are on the cabinet. Do you have one? Which ones do you have? Do you plan on getting one? Or do you just not like the look of it at all? Whatever your opinion is, I'm definitely curious about it and there is no right or wrong opinion about this stuff. It's just plants. So that is really it you guys for today. I just wanted to show off my cabinets, how we built them, everything like that. So I hope it was helpful for you. If you have any questions about it, just let me know and I'll try my best to answer it. I hope you guys really don't mind me not showing off each plant one by one I just feel like there's just too many plants and we'd be here forever and my camera keeps overheating so it's just not gonna work <laughs> you can see every single plant that I have if you have any questions about what the plant is or anything like that feel free to just reach out to me I'll definitely tell you I show off the cabinets a lot in my YouTube and my Instagram so definitely check that out as well I have a lot of good information on my Instagram where I talk about the cabinets the big greenhouse plant tips, anything like that. So definitely check me out there and I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!